In this video, we will learn about translations in the coordinate plane. Here we have been given the point Q, that is 4,2, and the translation vector, it will be in the diamond brackets. You can see these pointy brackets, they are called as diamond brackets, and that is the translation vector. So what we do is very, very simple. You just add the translation vector to the given point. Now if you add, what is the translation vector? Minus 2 to 4. That is the x coordinate and y coordinate is minus 2 plus of minus 5. So the newly formed coordinates would be 2 and minus 7. So this would be the newly formed uh, translated image coordinates. That is q dash or q prime. This line over here shows that it's the transformed or rotated or newly formed uh, image. Now here we are doing about translation, so this is denoting the translation. So the answer would be option C. And let's look into the next one. Here they have told the image A under translation is A prime given over here, the coordinates. So what it means is if you translate this given point, you get this points. And what is the, find the image of B under the same translation. So you, you don't know the translation vector, the vector which is given in the diamond brackets, it's not there. But you, you have to translate this in the same way the A point is translated. So we know A originally was minus three, plus some unknown value X was added to it, and then the answer was six. So this is the translated image. So what is X? Here if you just take minus three to the other side, it'll be six plus three, x is 9. So in the translation vector, the x part would be 9. What is y? The same thing we do. It's minus 5 plus y. That is equal to minus 1. So y would be equal to, it'll be plus 5 minus 1. It's 4. So here we go. It should be 9, 4. And that's not the options. That's not the correct answer. We need to translate this now. So what, what happens here? It is 3 plus 9 and minus two plus four. So what happens is it'll be 12 and we have two. That is the newly formed image that is B prime. And here we go, that's option D. That's how we solve this, 12 comma two. Same thing here, just add up the first X part with the X part of the translation. So minus three plus five would be two and here it's zero, two comma zero will be the answer. What about the same way? Please try solving these by yourselves. You can pause the video now and go ahead with other problems as well. Answer would be just adding them up. It'd be two and minus seven here. Here it'll be 12 and one because you add 1.5 with zero minus 0 0.5, it'll be only one. And the same thing which we had done, first find the translation vector and then add the translation vector to the point B to get B prime, that is 12 comma two. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.